Hey, everybody, I'm John Granado, and that's Josh Jordan. I am on mornings on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. He's on Sunday mornings on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. He's also the editor of SportsMapHouston.com. If you have not pressed subscribe, please do so you get all of our content right here on SportsMap HOU. Once the Astros signed Verlander, there's been no shortage of media members weighing in on the deal. One of those was David Sampson with CBS Sports, former Marlins president. He said the crane overpaid for Verlander out of desperation from losing the World Series. You buying that? I really don't. One of his biggest reasons was, you know, about leverage with with Justin, you know, living in the Palm Springs area. And that's where the Astros train. But I mean, the Yankees are in Tampa. They're in Florida. So and that's only six weeks. Right. You know, spring training is like six weeks. I don't think I'm going to make my whole future over being comfortable for six weeks. So I don't buy that. I don't think Crane was desperate. I'll ask you this. If you're an Astros fan and you know you gave them the qualifying offer at like 18.4, and then you found out the Yankees offered him one year 25, and Crane and Click said, no, we're not, we're not going to that number, you'd be pissed if you were an Astros fan thinking that the Yankees got him for $25 million for one year. You would be very upset. I have no problem with them going the extra year, and I think the Yankees are going to regret not doing it themselves. Uh, desperate? How about he found out, we need more pitching. That's all. We need more pitching to win the World Series. We, uh, you had to, when you had Verlander, Followed by Keuchel and McCullers and Morton. You know what you did? You won the World Series. Now that you got Verlander, followed by McCullers and Fromber and Urquidy and Garcia, you got a chance to win the World Series. What is this desperation? I, I, there's no, this is a team that's been the five straight ALCSs. How are they desperate for anything? They're just a winning organization and they know how to win. And Justin Verlander is a reason that you're going to, and you're going to win again this year, even with that, with or without Carlos Correa, just with or without George Springer this past year. And with or without Coors Light, my answer is with. Okay. That's my, I, listen, it's not going to cost you $25 billion. What it's going to cost you? It's going to cost you next to nothing for cold, clean, crisp, and refreshing. When you go into a bar and you order a beer, do you want one of those expensive, fru froofy beers that taste like motor oil that's got a bitter taste and you're like, Bleh. what is this? No. You want cold, clean, crisp, and refreshing. You want a beer that you can enjoy with your friends. You laugh. You watch games. You do all your stuff. You're going to enjoy Coors Light. Look, it's the world's most refreshing beer. Stop with the motor oil. Get yourself a Coors Light. Climb on, brother. Hey, other outlets are taking the opposite side of this. they being critical of the Yankees. You mentioned it, okay? You just mentioned it. They didn't jump on the opportunity to pair Verlander and Cole when the only difference was that extra year that the Astros were willing to give. And oh, by the way, it could bite the Astros because it's a player's option. If he pitches really well, they might lose him because somebody else might offer him more money. If Verlander comes back with a strong year, though, how bad do the Yankees look? Oh, they, they look really bad. I mean, then they're at the point where, and that's one of the things Dave Sampson talks about is he thinks the Astros made a mistake because if he has a great year, he's going to want to renegotiate. And he thinks if he has a poor year, then no matter what, he's going to take that $25 million. But I would argue if he has a great year, then you, you pay $25 million for an ace for one year, and he had a great year and possibly gave you a chance at another World Series. And then if he wants to re-up, Okay, you have to pay more, but he earned that money. You should have to pay more if he has a great year. So I don't have a problem with it. And from the Yankees side, the big criticism they're getting, John, is they're not acting like the Yankees. You know, they, they throw money at things. They overpay for players. That's their M.O., and they're yep. not doing that. And they haven't been winning in a long time. So you have to wonder, maybe that's why. Yeah, no, they've changed their... Hey, that's right, they used to buy everything, and now the Astros are buying now. People would say, wait, wait they lost Springer, they lost, they're losing Correa. Yeah, but they're doing. They're, they're, they're going about this the smart way. A two-year deal for Verlander. Do you have any doubt that Verlander's going to be good next year? No, it's only health. I think he's going to be great. I, you know, I've talked about it before. I see like some Nolan Ryan comparisons here. He's a big man. You know, it's not like where Roy Oswalt was giving it everything he had to hump it up there. You know, Verlander's a big dude. He's a hoss. I think he's going to bounce back from this. He said he wants to pitch till 45. That's a long ways away. What's he going to be 39 this year? I think he's going to pitch well. It's only health that I worry about. That's right. And you know what? Hopefully he's back for another year. He'll take that just 25. Hopefully if he has a huge year, he'll still just take that 25 million. Or he might, he, he just might uh, not opt in 
and then get a longer deal, a two- or three-year deal with somebody else because he's looking that good. We shall see. What's your rotation right now for the Astros? I'm one of the outliers. I'm one of the few guys that says you put Verlander first. I know a lot of people are saying McCullers, but to me it's that experience, the Cy Youngs. Verlander's a proud guy. Like I put him at the top of my rotation, and then you know McCullers, Fromber, Luis Garcia, and then I guess Arquiti at, at five. We got to see if they're really going to move back Christian Javier to the rotation. They talked about that. We don't know if they're going to do it. Odorizzi, I don't trust him. So we'll see what happens with Javier, but that's my rotation as of now. Yeah. Well, I got a six-man rotation yeah. because I want Verlander to throw fewer innings. I want McCullers to throw fewer innings. And then you just have to live with the other guys throwing fewer innings. Fromber, I'd like to see more of. Uh, Garcia and Urquidy. I, I think Odorizzi is the sixth starter. I'd like to see that six-man rotation so that you got Ver, – Verlander has not won a World Series game. McCullers has gotten hurt now. Uh, and he's got more uh, issues that we're not sure about. I want to see those guys throwing less. Let's go with a six-man rotation this year, Astros.